Hello, I'm Donald Redenberg, Professor of Management at the Zicklin School of Business at Baruch College. Leadership constitutes the fundamental pillar of business education at Baruch. We take advantage of our New York City location to invite top business leaders to discuss leadership with our students. Shelley Lazarus of Ogilvy Mather, Christopher Brown of Institutional Investor, and Hugh Panero of XM Satellite Radio have recently shown particular interest in coming to Baruch. Um, and I'm here at Baruch, I think. I'm not an alumni, naturally. Um, but uh, I'm here, I think, because we recruit heavily from Baruch. Um, within Institutional Investor, I was counting, we have more than 12 people um, currently employed with us um, from Baruch. I mean, I, 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 the people in Baruch, we have some very successful people on the editorial side from Baruch. Um, and they have got to where they've got to in our company because they've worked hard. And, and I see that as a consistent theme, if you like, from a Baruch person. Um, so, so I think that's why I'm here. <laughs> I really felt very comfortable being uh, at Baruch because it was just so diverse and kind of fit my, my upbringing. So, and, um, and I also like the idea that the people that come to a university like this you know, are really working to get ahead. It's an honor to be here because my father graduated from Baruch. Yeah. And, uh, and he was a very proud graduate of Baruch, so he always, he always talked about it. And uh, uh, it sort of seems uh, uh, that, that uh, uh, there is a completion of the, of the circle uh, to have me before you today speaking. These CEOs are attracted to Baruch not only because of the quality of our students, but because of their diversity as well. The Zicklin School is the most diverse business school in the United States, and these leaders know well the value of connecting with a diverse talent pool in a global economy. Now, I've also admired those leaders who seek out diversity, and I'm not talking about the, the narrowly defined diversity, the laws and quotas and politically correct kind of diversity. I think great leaders approach diversity from a very different point of view. I actually heard someone refer to it the other day as cognitive diversity, which I think is a wonderful concept. If you don't have people with enough diversity in education, in thinking, in ideas, in experience, in cultural sensitivities, in generational perspectives, you will operate at a disadvantage. You'll miss the important stuff. I hate walking into a room where everyone looks the same. I hate walking into a room where everyone talks the same and thinks the same. That was a neat phrase that Shelley Lazarus used, cognitive diversity. It's not just through a leadership speaker series that our students can learn about leadership. The Executive on Campus program provides one-on-one -on -one mentoring and industry-specific workshops, both conducted by practitioners. In addition, our students can earn a leadership certificate, which provides knowledge about leadership and enhances job market attractiveness. Part of leadership is ingrained in you. It must come from birth. But part is learned. And leadership is not what you do. Leadership is what you are. That determines what leadership is. It's the model you set for others. It's the respect that you create for yourself on behalf of others. It's the respect you have for yourself. It's the self-discipline that sets you apart from everybody else. It is the essence of what you are. Many visiting CEOs have raised the issue of experience when talking about leadership with our students. A common leadership question is, are leaders born or made? And these CEOs have answered that question. Leaders are made through experience. Now, individuals are born with different potential abilities, and individuals learn differently to different degrees and at different rates from their experience. Baruch College provides a learning environment that encourages the pursuit of one's leadership potential through experience. This is important because leadership development requires self-development. Developing leadership skills involves developing the self. Anita Roddick, um, great business lady, she, she founded The Body Shop, um, and she said, uh, the only time luck comes before work is in the dictionary. And she's absolutely right. 
I mean, you make your own luck. Napoleon said, give me lucky generals. A lot of people misinterpret that. What he meant was generals who really, really work at it, right? And I think that you, I know that, and you're not going to like me to hear this, but there's good news and bad news. I mean, the bad news is, you know, you're going to have to work very, very, very hard if you're going to be the best at you, what you're going to do. The good news is there's no such thing as natural talent, right? So don't worry about someone who's got natural talent sort of sweeping in there and doing it. There's no such thing as natural talent, right? Warren Buffett would have you believe that he's a naturally good investor. Well, sorry, Warren, you're not, right? I mean, he actually loves for hours and hours and hours pouring over financial statements, right? We may think Tiger Woods is a naturally talented golfer. Well, he's not, right? I mean, at 18 months old, his dad put a golf club in his hand, um, and the guy practices six, six hours a day, every day of his life, right, to be a great golfer. And the people who study this have the 10-year rule. And the 10-year rule is this, that you're not even going to begin to be good at something unless you work at it for 10 years, right? So work, I um, hate to say this, I mean, there's a good side, there's not going to be beaten by someone's natural talent, but the bad news is you're going to have to work, right? Work and work and work and work and work. And then after 10 years, you might begin to be good at it. Leadership requires an understanding of one's strengths and weaknesses and a willingness to connect those to organizational conditions. Leaders must recognize a demand for a broad array of leadership skills and thus a need for their professional development. Success in business requires interpersonal and leadership skills and at Baruch the faculty and staff work to help its graduates find success.